Hey, welcome to part one as of how to set up your Radio Master TX12 Mark II ELS version. And in this series, I'll give you a crash course as of how to operate this radio out of the box so you can be in the air right in the way. And we'll be going through the ports and the buttons, and we'll be also going into the system tab for this one. All right, let's go. If you just received your radio, I trust you just wanted to buy it and fly. You don't want to worry about how to set everything up, which it's totally fine because this radio has been set up properly by the manufacturer. Okay, so for us to use the manufacturer setting, you have to go to the model tab. You're just going to pick the first one. So use this as a scroller to scroll up and down, and you're going to pick the TX12 Mark II, and you're going to select model. And this should have everything set up correctly. So by saying set up correctly is these are default that will always generally be uh, set up properly that this will be the throttle and this will be your pitch and this will be your roll and this will be your yaw. And another thing is the switch are set up as this is aux one, this is gonna be your aux two. So aux one is generally your arm switch and aux two is generally your uh, mode switch, which this will, it's gonna be your angle mode, horizon, and acro. As long as you have these set up in beta flight, you should be able to use this directly. After the correct model has been selected, you're just going to go to system. Ah, it's not focusing, come on. And you're gonna scroll down to Express LRS. And at this time, just to make sure your imagination drone is also in binding mode, and you're just going to come down here and hit Bind and after some magical spell happen, your both of them are bound and you should be able to go fly directly. Okay, but there is a catch. You have to make sure that your radio and your drone has the same Express Alarms firmware, which means it has to either be on both on 2.x or both on 3.x, otherwise nothing is going to happen. If you'd like to know more about how to check and flash your Express Alarms firmware, I have a detailed tutorial video made. And I'm going to leave the link below, so feel free to go check it out. All right, the crash course is over. You can go enjoy the Infinity Sky in light speed. But if you are interested on the next steps, let's keep on going. The next thing will be our button and ports. So let's look at the ports first. So you have a DSC port on the top, which this is also can be referred as a trainer port, which you will be able to plug in a 3.5 millimeter cable to another radio. So you can control the drone together as like a coach car system. And this USB port is mainly for you to plug into your computer. So if you wanted to use this as a joystick to power up your uh, simulator, or you just wanted to flash a firmware, not flash a firmware, you want to update anything, then this is the one you connect to the computer. So it goes to the SD card, that sort of thing. And if you flip on the back bottom, and you're going to see there is a little SD card slot, which all your data, everything is stored in here. And this is the one this usb port usb c port is the one for you to charge your battery and that's it and on the back you're going to have a module bay which normally there's a cap but i cannot take it off so you can put an external module here if you want and the switches are pretty self-explanatory that which we will be able to go in depth later as of how to set them up later in the model session and these are the ones for you to just control your drone so okay simple and this is your power button, of course. If we powered it up. Welcome to HTX. And let's go into the system. Make it focus. So if you remember, we already went through the system button and we went to the Express LRS to flash our firmware. And you all totally you have seven pages and you can use the page button to navigate around so you can go to the second page, which this is the SD card that whatever it's in here it's going to show up here and number three it's going to be your radio setup and this is where you set up your days your time and you want your sound mode sound mode which means is if you want your uh if you're scrolling to beep or not so if you see all it's going to just start make a sound on all your inputs since i don't like the sound i'm just going to put it at no key to turn it off and basically, this is about it. There's not a lot that we're going to adjust here. You can just come in here. These are all like preference settings. 
I don't think that it is that important for us to fly, but you can just come here and check it out. Okay, let's go to number four page. This is something I would generally leave as default. And number five, it's default as well. In the hardware here, there's the only function I use is the calibration. And this is the place where you calibrate your sticks. So let me demonstrate how to do it. So if you press this one, it's going to start. The first time you're going to put your sticks into middle and you're going to press OK. And the next step, the radio will want your um, sticks to go up and down to the to the side so it knows the boundary. And once you're done, just same, press enter and you're done. All right, so, oh, whoops. Okay, let's go back. Number seven page. So this is basically whatever is on the radio. So you can see that HTX firmware and what your module are. So currently we're on internal module, which it's Express ORS and your external module is off. So if you have an external module on and your internal module is going to be off. All right, so this basically wraps up the system tab. Okay, so this wraps us up this first video as of how to set up your Radio Master TX12. And the part two will be coming out by next week. So please subscribe to stay tuned. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave it at the comment section or send me an email. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.